flippin' fantastic podcast. I don't know what number episode it is. Uh, <laughs> it's ni- 19. 19. 19. Mm-hmm. I'm Alicia Linkspicker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Mo87 Official. There you go. Hello. Well, how, I hope everyone's weekend went well. Yeah. Mine you, mine was pretty hectic, but it was it was good. That's good. It was just hectic but good. Would you was it hectic because of sales or other? Um yeah, so okay, let's see. We hit sales Thursday and Friday. Saturday I did that garage sale with my friend. That went really well, but it oh, was yeah, also yeah. just super hectic to like set up for because I waited till the last minute. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot about that. It was yeah, I got major sunburn. It's it's a little bit better today, but like my one side of my body is really sunburned because the sun was hitting <laughs> me this way. Yeah, so I have like a watch tan from my Apple Watch, <laughs> and then my legs are really bad. Like my legs are burnt, and um, yeah. made. Three hundred dollars, which is good. I got rid of some shoes, got rid yeah. of some stuff that I had sourced that previous Friday and Thursday. I like was like, oh, I'm just gonna throw them in the sale because they're gonna just sit in my death pile otherwise. Okay. So I put them a little bit cheaper than I would on eBay, and a couple things did sell before I was even able to list it. So that was cool, oh, wow. like yeah. a, a pair of shoes, and uh, there's a couple other things like yeah. I had just picked up that day before. Um, got that done, and then my husband decided to buy my parents Overlander. <laughs> that thing is uh, awesome. <laughs> the way my parents like to do it, my dad will buy a vehicle, do it all up, put a put whatever in it, put a fridge, put a bed, whatever, mm-hmm. use it for a while, and then he'll sell it. Sell so it. he's done that. This is like his third one now, I think. Yeah, so. We, he's pretty much like my husband was wanting to buy a rooftop tent for his vehicle mm-hmm. and I was kind of like I wasn't really all for it I'm like it just doesn't sound comfortable I don't feel like I'd feel safe up there <laughs> like it's yeah. on top of the vehicle I'm like I don't know if right. I'd feel safe mm-hmm. and my dad's like hey I'm gonna sell uh the express do you want it and so we we got it and then that night we had to go out of town well we decided to uh go out of town because his little sisters or my sister-in-law, her graduation party was on Sunday. Okay. So Saturday night we headed to Lincoln, a couple hours away, slept in his mom's driveway. We just plugged the van in so we'd have AC <laughs> and stuff. In it. That's awesome. It was very last second. Like we decided like an hour before we left, we're like, we're gonna go tonight and just get the drive over with and so that way right. we can wake up and like make it easy on Sunday. Uh-huh. So we did that and then we drove back and that was fun. And um we're Test excited now. <laughs> yeah. Um, now with our trip coming up to Colorado next, not this weekend, but the weekend after, we're going to take it with us. And we found a couple of places to camp. And I'm like, you know, I'm pretty comfortable in one of those mm-hmm. compared to a tent. Because uh, I don't like like when you're in a tent and it's windy and it like whips the tent around. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like when it rains. And okay. it's just, it's a little more comfortable because it has, mm-hmm. it even has, um you could put a toilet in it too, but there's a bed, there's a fridge, microwave, there's a TV. We even took uh, our dog with us on Saturday night. So those are awesome. I, yeah. Your dad does a great job. I want one. First of all, I like camping, but I am, <laughs> I'm getting a little old. I went, I haven't been in a while just mm-hmm. because of other other stuff. And my son and my husband go every month. And sometimes I would go scout camping just to go. And uh-huh. the last time I went, we had an air mattress, but it got a hole in it. And we it had more than one hole in it, so you couldn't fix it. Uh-huh. And I just had a camping pad, which was used to be just completely fine when I, in my younger days. Is it just like a, is it like a little mattress or something or? It's just a pad, like a foam. Okay. Okay. And I got up and I was like, I can't, I I can't anymore. I can't. I'm too old. And, um, the one, the one dad, he, he has a cut. I was like, oh, I could totally do a cut. Like I, I'm Mm -hmm. not like so bad that, you know, I don't have a bad bag or any of that stuff. It's just, it's not comfortable anymore. Actually where we camped that time was really rocky. 
But um, mm-hmm. I would love one of those. And I told you when I was a kid, we had a big old van, like one of like one of those. Yeah, just like the seventies, so but eighties. And it, you know, it was just it had the two captain chairs that swiveled the back, and then it had two bench seats. And there's I mm-hmm. had three sisters, so we all had our own. My mom loved driving that one. My youngest two sisters are twins because it was room and you know car seats and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I never, we still had it when I learned how to drive, but I was such a nervous Nelly. I didn't, my mom's like, drive it. It's fun. And I was like, no. And I wish I had, but anyway, it, you, when you showed that Chevy van, I was like, Oh, it reminds mm-hmm. me of the van we had. We love that thing, man. That it was the mm-hmm. best because like you weren't squished in a car. And, but anyway, I would love to turn one into one of those because yeah. I've seen people with like littler, littler, smaller, vans or even Mm -hmm. cars they've done that too but that is perfect seeing the first one my dad did it was in a it was in a chevy astro oh wow it was it was it was (laughs) like that but a bit smaller that was Uh the first one he did Mm -hmm. and he sold it to some guy in washington Mm -hmm. um then he did one person maybe yeah Mm -hmm. yeah and it it was comfortable well it was enough but it was really compact from what i can remember Mm -hmm. and he did the army truck one where he basically took a camper trailer and mounted it on the back and it was really cool but it was up really high and there was one time we went camping with them we were just going to camp in a tent my husband and i and then Mm -hmm. my parents were going to stay in that army truck well then a big storm came in and it was was like a huge rush of wind and i was up in there and it was like kind of like swaying a little and i was like oh gosh but it's the vehicle so heavy and my dad's like it's not gonna tip over i'm like okay like my intrusive thoughts are like it's gonna tip over and it's gonna hurt (laughs) (laughs) but um and then anyway, so we got this one. The only downside to it is because we've used it before where my parents used a different vehicle and we took that one. Mm-hmm. And um, the only downside is you do have to like hunch over like even me. I'm pretty short and I stopped to yeah. hunch over to get in there. So mm-hmm. my only complaint is after a few days, my back will hurt like because there was a time where we stayed out in it for like four days and afterwards yeah. my back hurt because every time right. you go in, you have to like hunch over. Yeah. The one my parents I mean, have now, the they can both thing. stand up in it. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, that's, that's a Mercedes. That's so. excellent for her older <laughs> because that is a, that is another problem. With, like I don't like again. I don't mind tent camping as long as I have something other than that mat. <laughs> but uh-huh. um, uh, it hunched over like that is can be rough, no matter how yeah. old you are. And um, I was gonna say, oh, you ever watch those like tiny house shows? Yep. <laughs> And and the people right. are like, oh, I'm gonna move in here, and it's like some old person. And they're moving in to, and their bed is on the ground, and it's a loft, and you can't even stand up to get dressed. I was like, see, that's why I couldn't, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. not laying on the floor in my older years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that in my younger years. I mean, I did it. Yeah, no. I I just ugh. Anyways, but there's plenty it. of space. My parents had a ton of stuff under the bed there. They were had like, I'm trying to think what they all had. They had like firewood and they had a bunch of stuff to be prepared. Right. In a toolbox. And anyways, but we're not going to fill it up as much, I don't think. But you never yeah. know. But there is enough room that I want to put a bin, an empty bin. So if we ever go somewhere and I find stuff like I source, I can just throw right. it in the bin. Mm-hmm. Keep yeah. it under the bed until we get home. So, Good idea. um. Good idea. And another really cool thing I found out, we were like, ooh, we should see about taking it to Cincinnati because otherwise they rented out a whole hotel block. Mm -hmm. It's $160 a night in Cincinnati. And I'm like, that's pretty expensive. So we looked. Yeah, there's this app you can get. And um, it's called iOverlander. And it'll tell you, like, it'll show you on the map where spots are that people have been to. And it'll tell you if there's water hookup, if there's electricity, uh-huh. if there's bathrooms, whatever. Anyways, there's one right in front of the riverboat, like, <laughs> at the place where they're having the rally. There is yeah. a spot right there that uh-huh. you can camp. So we're going to, I think we're going to try to do that and just That's save awesome. the $160 a night. Maybe yeah. at least for the one night that the event is there and then another night go actually get a hotel or go somewhere where there's electricity, but be right, uncomfortable yeah. for that one night just yeah. to be right there. Mm-hmm. That's <clears throat> cool. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. I 
my husband gets on kicks. He gets on kicks. So, like, we have that little airplane. It's too mm-hmm. small, though, for now, for, like, three of us. I mean, it was tight squeeze when two of- We would fly places in camp. Um, there's this big fly-in every year in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where all uh-huh. these, like, small plane. It's like a big, you know, they have air shows and, like, you know. And actually, people with campers go there, too. But, um... We haven't, we haven't been in a while, but like the storm thing and the tent, like you just basically post your tent under, well, we, we have a low wing, so it's not under the, mm-hmm. the wing, but, um, but yeah, so, it, you know, I'm like, either you got to get a bigger plane or we need to figure, we have to figure something else out. I'm, I'm totally up for like a camper, like, you know, driving uh-huh. around like, and the, the van, the overlander thing would be good. Um. But he was on sailboat kick for a while. He was like, let's get a sailboat. That's like, my husband. It's every week. It's something what? new. That's the thing. I told him, like, think about it. I'm like, this is a big investment. Yeah. I'm like, and we so can't just throw it around. So, I'm like, you yeah. put a boat in the water <laughs> and they just start to rot. Like, they're, they yep. are, you know, I mean, a car and a camper and all that are upkeep. But, like, boats are even worse. They're sitting in water. Mm-hmm. But he was like on, he was watching people that sail around the world. Like they just left their jobs and that's what they do. And Mm -hmm. he was on that kick for a while. I, I mean, I don't anymore, but I think I would probably still get seasick. I used to get really, really bad uh, motion sickness. I'm like, Mm -hmm. take, take me on a boat around the world like <laughs> no and then you oh, read the man. stories about like people like lost at sea and like you know they're out there like somebody's looking for them you know for yeah but you know it's like finding a needle in a haystack out there like, yeah that's not for me <laughs> yeah i wasn't so keen on the camping idea because every time i've gone camping i felt like like i just I'm uncomfortable the whole time it either if it's the weather or sleeping or bugs or <laughs> whatever and i also like enjoy like being able to take a shower whenever i want being able to use a real bathroom you know um but i'm like you know we could we could make this work to the point i won't be super uncomfortable because that's the thing i get uncomfortable and then i'm over it like after a day i'm just like i'm ready to go <laughs> yeah. home like i'm done um I, I'm, a, I'm okay with that stuff you do i do like a decent bath like you have to find a campground that has like decent bathrooms mm-hmm and I do, like, I've been, like, I'm always, like, make sure there's, like, a decent shower. Like, sometimes they'll have, like, nice outside showers or so if it's the summertime. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not comfortable without, I mean, that's a, that's definitely a lady thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> and also, that. um with our trip coming up, we're like, oh, we should camp. And I'm like, yeah. And we were looking, we're like, oh, yeah, well, there's Love's truck stops over here. I don't know if they're all around the U.S., but over here, there's a lot of them. And you can actually go there and, like, rent a shower for a little bit and like take a shower and Mm -hmm. be done i'm like we can even do that like that way we can camp somewhere without a shower or whatever um so we have a lot of ideas coming up for our anniversary trip which will be fun yeah so it may be a little bit less expensive now that we can avoid hotels because if yeah i like hotels because yeah you're comfortable but then you got to deal with like the last time we stayed there we stayed at a hotel where people were just super loud or there is a dog barking or kids running around the hallways or whatever. So this at least yeah. you can like. And they're expensive. And they're expensive. Yes. And some of them are, are like, oh, we have a breakfast place, but you got to pay extra for breakfast. It's not free. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm no. like, you gotta get might as well just hol- bring our own food. <laughs> you got to get that holiday in. <laughs> yeah. Get you the breakfast. <laughs> That's yeah, we were looking at a few, but. I'm like looking for where's breakfast included because. I'm paying how much and you're not going to give me anything, a bottle of water? Or something. Yeah, it's nice to wake up and make a <laughs> make a waffle or something. Anyways, but we thought about staying at a hotel maybe one night, like yeah. a fancy hotel maybe on the or an anniversary day or whatever. But right. um, mm-hmm. other than that, I'm like, eh. well, it's kind of a test run. And then our next big trip will be Cincinnati. But we'll probably do like little like day trip type of things, stay the uh-huh. night somewhere and come right. back. We'll probably yeah. do that a few times before, mm-hmm. uh, before then because that's all the way in. September, October. So yeah, that's super cool. It'll be nice. I, I, I want one. I don't <laughs> I'm know. very grateful because like I, if I, it I was wasn't like... oh good. No, you finish. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying if it wasn't my dad's build, 
if it was like someone else's build, I would be kind of like, nah, I'd rather just live without it. But now that it's my dad's and, you know, he's here and he's like, if we have issues, we could go to him or right. if there's something we want to change. You know, my husband and him can figure something out. But right. You need, you know, add this, take this out, whatever. Yep. Yeah. You, you've got the guy. <laughs> my husband's already like, oh, we got to do this and this and this and this. And I'm like, we just need to, to get it to the point we can, it's, we can use it. But I'm like, get to the point that we're, you know, it's, it works for us. And then like slowly, like, I'm right. Like, well, you'll right figure now. those things out, like what you want or don't want, like as mm-hmm. you use it more. And I think like using it for like small trips is a good idea because then you figure yep. out, oh, you know, I need this or that. Or that's we already cool. threw in an air yeah. fryer, and like he wants to build a dog kennel under the bed for our dog, so okay. that way it's like yeah. under, you know, like compact, so that right. way when we do uh-huh. bring her, she has mm-hmm. a like her own little bed, right, and stuff like that. But now. It doesn't fit in a regular garage, does it? It does not. Yeah, see, it I does have, not fit in our regular that's garage. The, that's <laughs> the problem. I'd have to find some place to park it if we got. Well, I mean, the same thing if we got like some sort of like camper, Winnebago, whatever. Like mm-hmm. you know the airstream, you know the the deluxe airstream that I was. Mm-hmm. I was talking to. Him, like, Those are I cool. Would, yeah, but um, yeah, because I don't have. I we have like a small driveway. Plus, we live in a neighborhood, and somebody would like bitch about it. So. We'd have mm-hmm. to find some place to park it. So we actually, um, we're going to build an overhang off of our garage that's high yeah. enough for, mm-hmm. um, actually the garage I think is high enough for it, but the door isn't high enough for it. So we're just going to build an overhang so okay, it, it's at I least see. under yeah. something so to avoid hail and um, otherwise we'll figure something out storage wise like for winter or whatnot. But, right. um, but for right now it's just in our driveway, which yeah. is fine. And we're, I think we're going to get new plates today. And my parents had the custom plates on it, the, the, what they call it, vanity plates. And right. we're trying to figure out if, if we want to do our own. And we're trying to think of like funny, the only names we could come up with are super stupid or funny. Like <laughs> we have like an inside joke. It's egg, but spell it A I G instead of E G G. And I was like, well, what if we just put egg on it? Cause it's white like an egg. Like it's stupid stuff like that. So it's like, um, so we're trying to figure out what we want to, if we want to put anything on it and uh, people in the discord were like, Oh, put like, they had some really creative ones that were like ink uh-huh. picker related. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> but it'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited for this so yeah. we can make it cool. comfortable for us. Cause of course, when we used it, it was my parents build. It's, they made it how they wanted it, but now it's ours. Right. So we can, right. we can make right. our own thing and it's got solar on it too on the top it's got a water tank that's i think it's a black water tank so that way um it it's a, the one. color black not a black water tank but right. uh-huh. um so that way it heats up so that way if, if you're outside it's not going to be cold water it will be nice right, and warm right. i hate i hate cold water so mm. it'll be nice if you need to like rinse off you go to like the beach or something yeah <clears throat> that's awesome anyways that's exciting. That's the way I'm more yeah. excited than anything. I'm else. sure we'll, we'll we'll have we'll have more to talk about probably, and I'll probably do a cute little trip vlog to Colorado, and hopefully, oh, yeah. it's, hopefully, my husband lets me do something thrifting related. So that way, it's <laughs> like kind of you know, right? <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna, you know, I'll be you're like, gonna hey. like, oh look at that store, look at that little thrift store over there. Yeah. Hey, I don't want an anniversary gift. Just drop me off at the thrift store and just let me be for a few hours. <laughs> like that's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny but anyways uh we do have some comments on our last episode episode 18 um andy so meta said a good morning ship is fun but a late night ship at 3 a.m is perfect i used i used to ship that late at night but now i don't oh, stay okay. up that late I'm anymore like, yeah. i fixed my sleep schedule a little bit <laughs> uh I, Susquehanna I'm like, Picker. I'm, like, oh. I'm like like lunchtime ship <laughs> ship i'm like let me get about before like at lunchtime and then i come back and uh-huh. <laughs> that's the that's why i've done these past two days because i had so, we'll have to talk about that but i had yeah. so many orders over the weekend i packed oh, wow. like half of them yesterday and then more today but then from yesterday to today i got even more orders but i oh, finally wow. got caught up to the point i have nothing else to ship right now but it was mm-hmm. anyways We'll get to that, but uh, Susquehanna Picker put, I ship when I get home from my day job, usually every day about five things, sometimes ten, but it's quick and easy. It's a job that is a constant hustle, but when you sit back and see your bank account grow, it's all worth it. He's speaking facts. Yeah, 
I wish so. You had a good weekend. I have I it's like it's like eBay's like on for a day and then off for two days. I don't know. Like Are you still listing every day? Yeah, and I'm Mm -hmm. I didn't list yet today, but I've been listing and like crickets. I don't know. I I just keep listing it. At some point it has to click on again. I don't know. I'm not Mm -hmm. I'm not fully in the algorithm or something. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I did. I do have tons of stuff to list because I have sourced. I I didn't. I didn't get that much this weekend. I. It was kind of rainy and drizzly Saturday morning, and I kind of overslept. Mm-hmm. And then I got up and I went, but there wasn't a lot out. Like even though these big ones are av- like these big neighborhood sales were advertised, I'm like driving around. I don't find anything. So I don't know if they just called it quits early or if they just never set up because it was drizzly earlier. Um, it wasn't drizzly. It wasn't raining when I went out, but mm-hmm. it had been early, a little bit earlier in the morning. I, I didn't get out to like not like between nine, and nine thirty. I started. I went to an estate sale that I it's the really good estate sale where this guy prices everything really well. Like and the last day is 50 percent off. But if you don't get there the first, like you have to get there the first day because he prices it so good, you know, but Mm -hmm. I got there the second day because I've, I failed to check. I don't know why I didn't check on. So he does Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And for, for whatever reason, I, and he only posts about it on Wednesday and he does, it's nowhere except sometimes it's on Craigslist and sometimes it's on Facebook. Uh It's not always on both. And I had looked, I think I actually looked earlier in the day Wednesday and then I didn't see it. So, and then I looked Friday and I was like, oh man. So I went and I got, I did still get some stuff, but um, Mm -hmm. yeah, he was, you know, I'm sure there was like tons more good stuff there. And then I went, did I go to another sale? I went somewhere else and I got, I, I'm, I'm nothing like major, but I did get some, I have, oh, I know this lady was having a garage sale. It was kind of on her porch. So, and her screened in porch, but she mm-hmm. had, I'm ready for what I'm, 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 I'm been like, you know, organizing and trying to find like small stuff for a first sale and everything. But she had like, bag big bags of like they're mostly mcdonald's disney toys but i'm like they're perfect uh-huh. for, whatnot, for like a dollar yeah. so I'm like i'm like grabbing those because i like i have to start somewhere and practice i figure yeah you know, yeah um that's a good way because i have other little toys that i can throw in there too that might be my first one and then maybe jewelry after that but um so yeah but and she was chatty and very nice and her prices were good because she was like you know getting ready to get out she was moving um but yeah i didn't source a whole lot this weekend but my death pile is huge so that's all right um i i was supposed to go to an estate sale but then since we did the sale on saturday i missed it and i was almost like i should just load up the car go there to the estate sale really quick be there for like 10 minutes and then go set up for the sale but i needed like all the time i could get because by the time we were about 80 percent set up we already had people walking up and it was it was crazy because it was like the person that made the biggest purchase of the whole day was that first person and i see him at sales all the time um i'll get through the last two uh comments (laughs) Teresa said alicia you weren't supposed to tell pops that i bought a lot (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah she bought all your barbies <laughs> i did send her i did send her a bunch of extra freebies though so i hope that helps uh maybe pops won't be so mad i sent some freebies <laughs> she's like the barbie <laughs> expert like she knows yes that sale went pretty well um yeah that was good i had it on i was watching and then abc matt said i don't know how, where this ca- came from we must have talked about something regarding this uh in the last episode, we said Chinese, it's the Chinese food thing, right? Because we, yeah, <laughs> he keeps commenting, and then we keep talking about Chinese food. I just have a friend that doesn't like it, and you know, and like some of the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> he keeps commenting, and then we keep commenting. On it. 
It's just every episode he adds on. But well, he Matt said, uh, eats. I mean, he ate that scorpion. If you did, but, go, yeah. go to his ABC Mets um, YouTube channel and watch his his um, Vegas vlog. Vegas vlogs, and he did a drink with the scorpion. Ugh. And he's like, I he's know. ready to do eat something else weird. Like, wasn't he like? He's like, what should I eat next? And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, he's, but anyways, he had said, I don't know if all places is like this, but in Chinatown in New York, they would give non-Asians one menu. Asians will get another because it has more exotic foods that non-Asians would be squeamish on. Non-Asians would get the crispy wontons or fortune cookies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe it. I believe it. I am totally... Yep on board with the american <laughs> chinese food and not the actual yeah asian street food i'm not so uh, a little crazy i'm, I'm not I'm so too, adventurous I'm, I'm too white for that <laughs> <laughs> the only exotic food i've tried is like we went to uh we went to new orleans last year last summer I did try, I think I tried frog legs, but I felt bad. I like frogs and it made me feel bad. No, it wasn't frog legs. I didn't try frog legs. It was, um, it was alligator. Uh, mm, I think I've had it that. It was like fried alligator there. or something, but mm-hmm. it, it tastes like chicken. Like yes, you could, I, I couldn't did. really tell the difference. But. And alligators have been around forever. So they're like dinosaurs. You're like eating a dinosaur. I have had that. <laughs> I did have that down there when I went to New Orleans, but um, mm-hmm. that's about, that's about as crazy as I've gotten. Uh-huh. I mean, seafood for me is, you know, going out. I don't eat seafood all that much, so. Uh-huh. Uh. And my husband had the frog legs, but I couldn't get myself to eat them. I remember now because it made me kind of sad. Um, and I also whole, had. <laughs> there was, <laughs> you're too young, but there was a whole Muppet movie about like this. The One of the Muppet movies was about some guy and that's like he was the frog leg king of the south and like you know eating frog legs uh-huh. and trying to get kermit's frog legs i think i'm like i'm like hazy what? on it i've seen it in so long but i was like sounds oh, like a fever that, dream that, that was a, that was 80s kids movies for you you know oh man <laughs> none of this, none of this um, soft and fluffy stuff hey we're gonna eat kermit's frog legs kermit butter is it uh <laughs> with um of course, since my family's Mexican, I've had weird foods from there. Like, uh, one thing is cow tongue. Some people have never yeah, heard of that, but, but I've, it's, I've it's that, pretty yeah. good in tacos. Or um, there's also, um, I forget what, I I can't remember what it's called right now. Tripas, it's intestine. I think it's pig intestine or cow intestine. Wow. I don't like it, but my husband does, or he's tried it and he thinks it's okay. There's also a thing called, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember it right now, but it's basically like, Peanut butter, chocolate, chicken. Yeah, no. Oh, I can't remember. I mole. That That's what's before. called. Mole. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like yeah. that. I don't um, know about that. Um, yeah. It's- well, I'm around here. We have something. It's the, it's the Philadelphia. It's the like Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey area. Mm-hmm. We have something called Scrapple. And actually, like they make a lot of it downstate in Delaware. Yes. And that's what it is. It's scraps. It's, it's like a breakfast meat. It's like a little loaf. <laughs> it's really uh-huh. good. So it's a bunch hmm. of. Is it like a meatloaf or is it like a stir fry? No, it's just like, it's like a, you get a little loaf. It's like, it's like scraps, you know, mm-hmm. like probably like pig. Hmm. I don't know. And mixed in with spices and some other stuff. And they make it a little loaf and you slice it and you fry it. And it's really good. But a lot mm. of people do not like it. But it's it doesn't very, sound very appetizing, good. but it, it might be good. I'm more of a visual food person. But I um, mean, when you cook it, it just looks brown and crispy. So um, mm. it's kind of gray on the inside. <laughs> but it's not, it doesn't look all that appealing. It tastes really good. I love it, but it's a. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's, it's. It's here. It's a here thing. You know what I mean? It's it's mm-hmm. a regional. It's a regional delicacy. But I know my dad like he, his um his mom his mom wasn't from Poland but her parents were and um 
you know, they ate weird stuff, blood pudding, you know, like actual stuff made mm-hmm. out of blood and stuff like that. That I don't think Ooh. I would eat. But yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> we did <laughs> reach a hundred and five. Oh wow! Oh, hundred five subscribers. That. Yep, that's awesome. And I'm sitting at 111. We're at 111. That's. Oh, you got 111 now? Yay! That's yep. Awesome. We just hit 100, I think it was last week. I think I said it in a video. I have a ton of footage from this weekend because there was a couple citywides and my mom decided to come oh, with yeah. me. So I, I did wear the GoPro. Mm-hmm. And I tried to edit it last night on my iPad, and it's just like so much footage that my iPad can't handle it. So I have to yeah, edit the right. GoPro footage stuff okay. on my computer, which yeah. sucks. But. Yeah. I so I have, have to, to keep do. saying I'm start my channel. I have all this footage. I even I took some video this weekend. I had it so most of it was on my phone, and mm-hmm. I have Google and it uploads automatically. But I was reaching my my limit for for a long time. When we joined, because we have Google Fi and they were giving you free, you know, and I have a certain amount of like pictures that it backs up free every, you know. But the video stuff was taking up a lot of room and it was like, you're reaching your limit. So I downloaded it all not too long ago. And I'm like, I I swore, I thought I put it, I have, I have like three big hard drives and two of these little, you know, like passport size ones Mm -hmm. or actually three of these. Um, One has all my old teaching stuff on it. One has, I was putting like, all my ghost hunter stuff on it, but I had other stuff on it too. And that's mm-hmm. why I thought I put these videos. Cause I was like, well, I'm just temporarily putting them on there and then I'm going to edit them and I'll just delete the, you know, non-edited mm-hmm. stuff. I didn't put that on. <laughs> I was freaking out. This I was like, Oh my God, I delete. Cause it wasn't just, um, it wasn't just sourcing video. It was like, you know, mm-hmm. family stuff and places we've gone. <laughs> I'm like, Oh, I deleted like, you know, years worth the video, it was on a different one. And I thought it, I thought, well, no, I thought it was on this one, right? And this mm-hmm. one's here, but there's a second one underneath it. And that was the one that was plugged in. I was oh. like freaking out. Um, for like, for like over an hour, I'm looking everywhere on my computer. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? And then I like, oh, walked man. away and I was so upset. And then I came back and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> the other one's plugged in. It's not the right one. At least one. you found it. I know, but um, so someday I will get some video up. I actually, I am. My goal is is Thursday. Um, we'll see. I plan on doing some tonight and tomorrow. So Thursday is my goal for we'll my see. personal channel. We'll see. I don't know what and some of this looks like because it was just my phone, and I'm like trying to be inconspicuous, and I'm just like. So I probably am filming over here and talking about something over here. <laughs> But well, I probably have enough for some shorts, so I, I can probably. Throw there you go. Shorts. That's something I don't. I don't do. But as I say, we're thirty-two minutes in. We haven't talked about our topic yet. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, we're just following the footsteps of the greats on Trash to Cash, like, and and I was told not this past week, but last week that if you mention Commonwealth Picker, you're going to get views. So. Commonwealth Picker, CWP, Commonwealth Picker, CWP, CWP, CWP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what he said. <laughs> I might even put it in the title. <laughs> there you go. Is that the way end Commonwealth Picker? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. That's an idea. Well, we, were, well, we, you wanted I mean, we didn't your talk story? about it, but we did talk about sourcing. So, and you selling at, at like a flea market thing. So we were on topic of flipping reselling yeah Mm -hmm. well so wait what was the topic (laughs) it was like it was like (laughs) talk about dealing dealing with people dealing with customers because there's something that happened and somebody in the discord said we should talk about it yeah i think matt said it Mm -hmm. matt is the star of this show um he hasn't even been on it I know. Um, oh, I i mean, it wasn't that bad. I, I ha- don't have many weirdo customer problems, but I just, I, I sold, it was like a special kind of hole punch. 
and it was my personal right. one. I like used it in the classroom for some things. Right. Um, and it works fine. You can't jam a whole bunch of paper in it. I mean, this is this. If you ever used a hole punch, sometimes they stick. You can't do too thick a paper. You can't do too many pieces of paper. It's just how they are. Unless you have one of those big giant industrial ones. This is just desktop. Mm -hmm. I sold it. I sent out an offer. I had it for like $19.99 or whatever. $87. That's why in line in. <laughs> and uh, they mm -hmm. sent me an offer for seven. No, I sent an offer out. And my offer was like 17 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they... And like later on, like a day later or something, I get like a 17 offer, right? And okay. I'm like, oh, I just sent one out, but I thought maybe it was somebody else. And I just accepted it because that's what I had sent out. I didn't read the message. The message says 17 with $5 shipping. Well, this thing weighs like two pounds itself without a box or anything. So it's going to be three pounds. Mm -hmm. And they sent me, they're like, it says, you know, whatever it said for shipping, almost $10 or something. And I did parcel select, so. But it was going to, like, zone five. Anyway, they didn't like that. I said, feel free to cancel. Don't pay. Just cancel. It's not a problem. I said, but shipping is not part of. They have, like, a thousand feedback. Like, they know this, you know. So mm -hmm. it's total, total BS. Um, shipping is not part of you know, when you do offers. They paid for it. I sent it and I knew deep down inside that they were going to have a problem. Oh, it's, it, it jams. I'm like, okay, sorry about that. And I, that's all I said. You mean I can't return it? I was like, of course you can return it on my page. It says free returns. Send it back. They did. I opened it. Smells like they smoked like their whole unfiltered case of camels just blew it in there it was uh, so bad it's like you didn't even have it that long how much do you have to smoke for it like the bubble wrap the whole box like i can't reuse the box it was a nice little uh, box um i'm just like ugh. anyway i i don't really have too many like weirdo if anybody out there has weirdo stories to tell us about eBay buyers, well, I remember, go for I it. I remember <laughs> with you guys saying, oh, since you sell shoes, have you gotten any weird messages? Remember oh, that yeah, whole thing in the Discord? And I, was like, and I was like, no, I've never gotten any weird messages. Why? And then literally like that <laughs> next <laughs> week or something, I have these yoga flip-flop sandals, which I still have in my store right now, but they have separators for between each toe. It's supposed to be like right, yeah, nice for yeah. your feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone sends me a message asking if I could try them on and send them a picture to see how they look on. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> that will cost you I was like, oh no, it happened. A lot it happened. <laughs> <laughs> it happened, guys. Uh, I got the, the message. <laughs> the foot weirdos. Yeah that, yeah. that happens. I don't have a lot of shoes. And most, <laughs> most of the shoes I have for sale are the ones my mom gave me. So they're like, you uh -huh. know, they're a little bit, they're no, there's no open toes or anything. <laughs> Actually, she sent me one pair of sandals, but they're like, you know, they're, um, the sand, the sand, I, I sold them like right away. They, they had like some like heel inserts, and, you know, they're for like people with foot problems. I mean, they uh -huh. look nice because, you know they're not like they don't look like orthopedics or anything but that's what they are so i don't get a lot of answers i don't get <laughs> i don't get questions for that because they're not the typical you know sandal that somebody's foot with a foot fetish is looking for yeah have you ever had any like weird i know a lot of people i i have had the because i sell a lot of breakables you know can you please make sure you do this this and this when you're packaging it you know because like I super particular just, yeah i mean it, i it's annoying but i get it and i just like go i because i you know i pack really well and i don't worry about it but i know people get stuff broken i mean i've got stuff i ordered a long time ago it was like a little dresser vanity thing from mm -hmm. etsy you know like a it's like the gold trim and it has like the mirror and the mirror was totally busted because they put it in a box with like one crumbled up piece of newspaper. I was like, what were you thinking? <laughs> you know? So I get it. I get it. There are people out there that have no business shipping anything that's breakable. 
Um, and they have no common sense. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I get, but I mean, that's um, kind of the most I get. I, I, I do know. have a couple of messages I've saved from a while ago. Um, well, this one's actually a, a happy one. Actually, I'll do the happy one last. So we're not ending on a, mm-hmm. a negative <laughs> note. I had this Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for Game Boy Advance. Sent out an offer. Or someone sent me an offer and I countered with 35 because I had it listed for like 40 for some reason. I can't remember what the market was like at the time. Yeah. It was it was when I was kind of starting out more full time, I think. Yeah. This was in this is in oh, this is actually last year. No, two years ago. Wait. Anyways. <laughs> and they countered. And they said, I'm not gonna read the full words, but they said, go effing. Unalive yourself, you oh. effing cancer. <laughs> you put that up and one was, time, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was like, I wow. Mean, just the anger, like, get help. Get help. And then it's I not, actually looked up. <laughs> I went, like, full investigation mode on this person's username. And it was actually linked to some guy in Texas who is a manager at, like, a video game store. I was like, well, were you buying this for yourself or for your store? Because I'm like, you know, if, if you do this to someone else, they just Google your username, where you right. work pops up. Yeah. So, I know. And his Facebook page. And anyways, that wow. was that was fun. I At the time, I was not in a really great space mentally. So that really, mm-hmm. like, did not go well. I, I cried over it. <laughs> Even though I'm like, this is some person I'll never meet. I'm over it now. Anyway, if I get a message like that now, I might I might get a little upset, but it's kind of funny yeah. getting that I mean, upset I, I still, over an eBay offer. Right. I mean, I still, like, you're human. You get annoyed, but everybody says, you know, it's business. Don't worry about it. And But, like, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Like, I guess, I, I mean, I was called much worse in, mm-hmm. when I taught middle school. But, like, so I'm, like, I have a little bit of a callous to that kind of stuff. But it's still, mm-hmm. you know, it's. It hurts. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have this other message I saved from a month later that I got. Or a month before this other message I'd read. Um, They said it was this lamp that I had bought at a garage sale years ago. And my mom somehow still had it. It was like in the garage. I don't know why. But it was like this lamp and it had like little beads in it. And they it would push the beads up and then they'd go down this little spiral thing. And that's all they would do. And you just hear them kind of clink. Uh-huh. And then I sold it and I sent it to this person. I packed it really well because at the time I was like so scared. So I actually had it in a huge box and I packed like so much packing around it. But now it's right. like I ship lava lamps, no problem. But mm-hmm. this was like my first like liquid item. Yeah. They said, hello, my name is Mike. I was the one who purchased your spiral lamp a few days ago. And I saw that and I was like, oh God, he's he's going to say it broke or something. Because that's right. all I saw. And then he said... I saw your note in the package and just thought you might like to know where the lamp is going. My mother just recently had open heart surgery. She has trouble sleeping and is regularly in pain. When we were younger and times were simpler, she had a lamp exactly like the one you sent. She would turn it on at night and she fell asleep to the soft hums of the pump and the clink of the pearls. She had has talked about how much she misses it. She had to move a lot for her work and in the shuffle, she had lost that lamp amongst other things. Now I'm going to give her the lamp. Give her your lamp and give her some happiness in these difficult times. I know she will be absolutely overjoyed to see a fond memory again. Thanks for sending it so carefully. I'll leave you solid feedback. Oh, that's and I was that's like, so oh, that's nice. so nice. That's and then see, I kept it. Yeah, I kept no, that one. Yeah, so I'm like, I would hey. keep something like that too. That made me really happy. And um, mm-hmm. and of course, I've gotten like really good feedbacks too over the. There's some that have like really stuck out to me. Um, mm-hmm. Like this person said, love it. Didn't know I needed it until I saw it. LOL. <laughs> that's a big answer. <laughs> that's a, that's the truth in a lot of ways. I know for me. Um, I, I had a really good, like this person typed a lot in their feedback. Um, see this one. Um, They said, thank you so much. I've been looking for a replacement of this plushie since I was a child. Thank you for making this a reality for me. Quality was exactly as pictured exceeded my expectations fast shipping great seller will buy from you again i love i love feedback like that Uh, even the ones that just say a plus or thanks or whatever i get a lot of you know yeah some of them are just you know you can tell they're just but um but i get you know 
a lot of like this is packed very well thank you so much Mm -hmm. um I, I and I've had like I don't I don't know where the message is but like nice little compliments like I had I had this McCoy pottery is like an old USA made pottery right mm-hmm. and I had this teapot it's it's kind of like a green wash glaze on it it's got pine cones I I still have it because I found it at this church sale like a year ago and it was. Mm-hmm like a dollar i was like oh that's so cool and it's been sitting there and i it finally it sold and um i went to i picked it up off the shelf and went to go pack it and i like i could feel it and i heard something and then like this like a fracture like a crack went uh... across the handle and so, like, you know, I was like, look, I'm so sorry. But as I was, like, getting ready to pack this, and I told him just that. I was like, I felt it. You know, I picked it up like this. I was holding it like this. And I felt it crack. And, like, I sent him a picture. And he was like, thank you so much for being honest. Most, a lot of people would just ship it and blame it on shipping or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I have it, like, on a shelf now. Because <laughs> so I was like, well, I mean, it's still, like, nice for display Decor. and it's it's old it's kind of pretty looking it's kind of like wintry um you know because it's got like pine cones on it but uh i wouldn't want to ship it now because i'm i just think the handle would just totally come off during um shipping Mm -hmm. you know also i would sell it with the crack but it's it's a pretty like you it's almost like i get chills thinking about like how i felt it (laughs) it was like this weird you know but yeah but they were you know they were cool about it um and they're like yeah just cancel it for me thank you so much and see yeah, that's way better than it. dealing with like sending it and then being like hey well, i got I, the mug and it's I cracked know. or I but i would never intentionally sell something that i knew was like that happened between you know i sell like because i sell like old breakable stuff so some of it has flaws and i always disclose mm-hmm. it you know but i would never and like I said, that that handle would totally come off, even as good as you sh- like. You'd have to ship it like double, triple box for that handle not to probably fall off. But um, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> even though I I'm fine with shipping breakable stuff. But yeah, I got a lot of nice feedback like that. Just you know, thank you so much. It was shipped so well. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't had too many any like, nutcases. I just I'm I'm annoyed the the cig like that bothers me more than like like first of all you didn't like the shipping charge and then I I kind of like was like I wonder if I get away without giving her original shipping since she blew smoke all over this but I didn't mm-hmm. bother I was like I walked away and then I came back and I just gave her the full refund because that like makes me mad like I gave her an out like cancel like mm-hmm. it's a three it's that thing's like three pounds. It's heavy. It's it was big. It's like an oversized one too. It's not like a little one. It's big. It's like for a bigger size paper. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I was annoyed. Yeah, <laughs> but whatever. I would it's be too. Cost of doing business, but I don't like you know. I don't ship stuff out smelling like a a cigar a cigarette, and I don't appreciate getting it back. So you know, smelling like a cigarette. Like I think. <sighs> I don't like that that can happen. And you just got to kind of suck it up, unfortunately. I also, so I was watching, was it Shed Flips? I think they were talking about Macari mm-hmm. the other day. Mm-hmm. You know how Macari, sure. you, you have to like, you, you have to you rate. Get, you get paid after you get rated. And if they don't rate you within four days. They rate, they, you get automatic feedback and they just, and then you, you're out, you're cool. Like, you don't Mm -hmm. have to get a return or anything. Like, I really think eBay's like missing it on this. Like 30 days is great and all, but man, it's, it's a little too long. It's a little too long. And I mean, this person didn't wait that long, but. I've had people open it like the day last I day of their 30 of days. Mm-hmm. I've had a couple of that and then they get two more weeks to ship it. Like, I mean, I get the the shipping. I don't get it. I shouldn't say that. They should have like 
three business days to ship or something or Mm -hmm. the same amount of time you shipped it they should have to ship it you know because i don't think handling time yeah like two weeks after that so they've stretched out a month to six weeks you know and then they send it back all messed up because you know that's that's my biggest problem like in fear of like selling a lot of clothes i mean if you're a clothes seller something popped up if you're a clothes seller i mean a lot of clothes sellers do like a lot of volume so i guess it kind of just is a wash but i'm always afraid of that you know they're they're just renting it from you Mm -hmm. you they wear it and it comes back and you know six weeks later same with like a costume like lonnie and candace mentioned right Uh uh-huh i don't i just so what were we talking about ebay there's something in discord that ebay just did oh somebody saw that they could put i guess they're rolling out like you can put um photos in your i mean this goes along with the feedback photos in your, oh, in your reviews you know, like you do, yeah yeah you know how amazon does that which makes yep. sense because like if i'm buying like lighting or a piece of camera equipment or something and like people show it and say oh this works you know they show it in use or whatever or like they buy a dress and they show it on and you're like oh that looks nice on a Mm -hmm. real person and not the the model and the thing i get that but when you're just selling one-off things what's the point like there's Mm -hmm. so many other things that ebay should be putting time effort and resources into like getting me my money instead of waiting four days you know after an offer or whatever i Mm -hmm. i just i get frustrated with stuff like that i'm like this is i agree it makes makes me feel like i'm back in the business world or the teaching world or wherever where like there's somebody up above doing the dumbest stuff and you're down there in the trenches and you're like you've been crying that you need this this and this and they're not they're ignoring you i feel like that's how ebay is sometimes you know it's the same everywhere, even though you don't have a like they don't boss. listen to, to what we're looking for <laughs> right. and stuff like that. Yeah. So even when you don't have a boss, you're kind of dealing with the same kind of crap, you know? I mean, because you know, it's all over the YouTubes and about what people want and forums and everywhere else. I mean, you can't tell me no eBay people are looking at any of that stuff. I mean, wasn't there an eBay person at like one of those flip cons or something? one of the events yeah so you can't tell me they don't know you know where their priorities should be but that's not where they are or where they're putting them so anyway that's my rant for today (laughs) i feel like any good sales lately (laughs) no i told you you get to that i sold a couple things this weekend and then and then it just went dead um Hmm. I don't think I saw well, the one, thing, the big home run for me was that uh, the blow mold oh, string lights. Yeah. That was, oh my God. From the auction. So, yeah. Like, I thought those were good. I didn't know they were that good. That was so amazing. That's the most expensive one I've ever seen. And I'm sorry wow. that's sold because I'm looking at, I just looked at the, the comps for what if I look up Peerless Blow Mold Halloween Light. Right. There's not a lot of the string lights that have sold, but like the replacement like shades that go over them. Yeah. But like someone else had one exactly like mine for like 450. And I'm like, well, it's got a bunch of watchers and not sold. No so. Right. Yeah. I, I've I've done that before. Like you have to mm-hmm. look and see. Like if somebody two hundred fifty dollars for a little three light string light. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, I. Um, I didn't doubt that that was going to sell for you and sell pretty well, but wow. Well, was- and the fact that it was in a Halloween lot and I didn't even see it was in there at the auction right, until after yeah, I got back. And in the video, you saw me pull up. I'm like, oh, we got a string light. Well, yeah, so that was that was good. Um, I love finding old Halloween stuff because it just sells so well. But that yep. was, man, I'm going to be forever looking for that kind of those. Yes. <laughs> Even at, especially at auctions, like no one, I was the only one that bid on that lot. I'm pretty sure, or I was the second probably, bidder, and that was it. Like no one cared about it. Yep, right, because no one saw it. Well, I didn't see that. I just saw on top right. there was it's some masks, some vintage masks, right. and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll probably sell those. Right. Uh huh. 
that, that was it. Yeah. That bonus surprise in there, man. And there was even surprise. like a, what was it called? It was called like a sparkler spinner thing, but it was vintage and it had like a creepy moon face on it. I sold that for like 25 and that also was in the same box as those lights. Wow. That's same with awesome. a mask that I sold yeah. for like, I think maybe 10 bucks to like an astronaut mask and stuff like that. So there is, there's an Instagram page, somebody I, like Vin, I forget what it's called that I follow. It's like vintage Halloween or what they, I don't know if they sell anywhere else, but they sell all, they just post like every day they post stuff, vintage Halloween stuff that they sell and it sells wow. like, like real fast. And I mean, they're selling it on just through Instagram. Instagram so they're, well, they're not like using like, you know how like people have Instagram stores, like they're not using that. They're just like, Hey, this is for sale. DM me if you want, you know, click sold and DM me if you want it. And they sell it that way. But man, they um, and their stuff sells like crazy. But like, I think I'm always looking for Halloween. That is so amazing. That was, that's congratulations. That's so awesome. Yeah. It's one of my best sales in a while. And then I yeah. sold a, a victory motorcycles coat for 125. I picked that up at a big sale. I like picked up a bunch of like country t-shirts, like band t-shirts. Yeah. And some like Harley Davidson stuff and this I already sold the Harley Davidson jacket for like a hundred something. Then I then I sold this Victory Motorcycles one, which I knew was gonna be worth something. I just don't know exactly how much. So I'm not well versed in Victory Motorcycles yeah. items, but nothing else super amazing. Oh, excuse I, me. I sold nothing amazing. Like just I'm random a bunch of random that. lots of stuff. Yeah, I sold just little th- little knickknacks and stuff. Oh, keep an eye out, guys. Johnsonville Sizzling Sausage Grill. Oh. And it has three different inserts you could put on the inside. I got it for 13 bucks at Goodwill. And I sold for 85 plus shipping. Wow. They're all in over a hundred over a hundred dollars. Johnsonville. And like I Johnsonville Sizzling Sausage Grill. It's something you'd find at probably like a garage sale for like five bucks, I feel right. like. And it's it's heavy. It's good, got good weight. Keep it out for those. That's the first one I've ever seen of it, but never heard of it. Oh. Huh. Wow. It's just so it's just like a foreman grill type thing for sausage. Yep. But there's wow. different kinds. So there's like the big okay. like you can make big sausage or like little like breakfast sausages or even like there's another I forgot what the other one was. Like patties, I think. Okay. But it's like Got different shapes, so you can make different size sausages. Like, I guess somebody's asking over a hundred for them. Yeah, there's one that's like the it's a newer one, I think, and it's just okay. a lot more. But mm-hmm. that's a, oh, a cool okay. appliance. I see, that... one, I see the one with all the. I see, now I see the like, inserts on this picture. Mm-hmm. It's probably yours, or even if you find just the insert. <laughs> well, because <laughs> uh um. I bought it and I was like, well, even if it doesn't work, because I was like, well, what if it doesn't work? Because I didn't even test it at Goodwill. I'm like, uh-huh. well, the inserts themselves should probably right. sell and I'll make my money back. Yeah. So look, somebody just black grill replacement grates for twenty dollars. And that was just like the small little breakfast links. Mm-hmm. Somebody sold the the round patty links for twenty five. Wow. That's awesome. And I sold uh-huh. the new sealed uh back. Flintstone. Yeah. The new sealed Flintstone spoon. I got it Vegas for a dollar. I sold those for 30. Nice. Teresa kind of helped me comp them because I was like, oh, I got this. I don't know what it is. And she like looked at it and looked it up. She's like, oh, it's like a baby spoon. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't end up opening it. It's still sealed. Like I didn't open it because I was like, oh, maybe I should open it and take a picture of the spoon. But I take a picture. It's literally just the box. And then there's a little barcode with what it was in it. And Mm -hmm. Left that way. And I sold that goofy coat. I think we might have talked about that last week. Oh maybe. yeah, the one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. yeah, that's about that's where we got. A lot of I'm I'm hustling just until it's just that way. Like I can have a well served break during oh, yeah, yeah. Colorado <laughs> time. Yep. And then and then it's gonna get busy again because family's coming in July and then it's our anniversary and then it's my husband's birthday and then mm-hmm. All kinds of stuff, so. Oh, excuse me. Whenever I oh, sit no. down to, like, Maybe record with you, I start relaxing. I'm just like, ah. Because <laughs> usually I don't sit down like this. I'm all go, go, go. And that, this yeah. is why. I'll sit down and I'll be like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I 
I know. I that's why I'm like I'm sitting, but I'm like. Uh, uh. Plus, it's it's kind of getting warm up here. I think my air isn't coming on. Like the sun's not out really. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of cloudy. It's pretty warm out today. I went yeah, out and pulled orders this morning, and warm, I. But it's not like warm enough for my air to come on. But this room is kind of stuffy. Probably to this having on this thing doesn't help. It's like gives off. Oh yeah, it picked off. Lamp. I picked up another lava oh, lamp That's like that about. one and like the purple one I just sold, but it's blue. But the base is not very. It's kind of dinged up. But I'm yeah. gonna see. It'll still sell. I just It'll don't know how sell. much. You won't, yeah, it won't get as much as if it was in really good. But sometimes people just want the the glass part too. You know, if they broke it or the cap. Yep, yep, all of it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I I'm, I haven't listed it yet because I like it. If I find another one, like I think I'm gonna keep it, and then when I find another one I like more, or you know, I might sell that one. I'm keeping it for a while because I like it. I've got quite a little collection of lava lamps. I think we talked about this last time. Yeah, so <laughs> do I. Have to a set them up. Glitter ones. That actually. I oh yeah, I have it. one of those. Because I had like I had a week, a couple weeks ago, where I got like two or three glittery ones. I have to list those. I've been. Um, I I still I haven't moved into the other room, but hopefully within the next week or so I will be. I just been kind of taking my time. I don't know exact like I got rid of some tables that I had up here that were they were like they're like end tables really for a couch, but I was like kind of using them as like side tables for a bed, but they're they're really too big. I don't have I had one in here and I had one in that room and I got rid of them. I gave them away. Um I kept asking my sister if she wanted them, but um her friend took them and then so that that helped because they were big and took a lot of room up. And uh, so anyway, so I should be in there. I need to clean up my trailer. It's such a mess <laughs> from garage sales. Cause like and, I came back and started relisting uh-huh. some of the stuff that I delisted for the sale. Oh, okay. And yeah. Did you just, it was yeah, so hot just, that day. And, and so you could re sell similar or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Basically. And, um, I I was working on it and then I got so tired and later that day is when we decided to go camp overnight at my mother-in-law's okay, yeah, house. So, yeah. mm-hmm. But I was so exhausted and sunburned and I, <laughs> oh. I was not having a good time. I was sitting there my husband like set up a big fan to blow in there at me and I was just sitting there. I was just like, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to fall yeah. asleep sitting here. I need to stop. So I did, but, but anyways, that's pretty much all I got for this week. Yeah, me too. I just, I'm going to go list some more. Oh, I got this cool light thing because I, well, first of all, my ring light is really small. I hate in my glasses that I constantly have that ring. Mm -hmm. If I open the window, it's too bright, you know. I, um, but I got this thing. I needed like a little tabletop thing to hold my phone for Mm -hmm. if I do whatnot. If I do whatnot, because I don't have a lot of space. I have like three nice, I have all this camera equipment that I got to go through and get rid of some of the stuff. I have like three nice tripods, mm-hmm. but they, they take up so much room. I just needed something for the thing. I got this thing. It's very cool. And it's like a big light. Uh-huh. And this thing, it telescopes and it bends. So, and it'll oh. sit right there with your, you know, you hook your phone onto that part. And I was like, I need something that will, because I do, I also have little, tri- like, you know, tabletop tripods, but they're not good for yeah. that. They fall over. Yeah. I use them for, like, flashlights and stuff when I'm ghost hunting, but anyway, this hmm. thing, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I, I kind of want to be in the other room first, so I'm going to try in the next week to do it. That'll be exciting, guys. Keep an eye out. Do you have your, do you have a whatnot account already? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the should, same. Should, should. Okay, there you go, guys. Go follow her. I Maybe have first show of, coming up. I have, <laughs> I have lots of McDonald's toys that I bought, like Disney stuff. I was like, oh, I'll take it. This is easy to sell, you know. Yeah, and I mean, if it doesn't, like, you know, it's not. You're not really losing out on much if you're no, selling them. I, I mean, and that's that's why I bought. I was like, I, you know, I wouldn't have bought them if I wasn't doing whatnot. Um, but. 
she had like big baggies of them for a dollar and i was like i was looking at them and i was like oh you know there you go because these are good and even if they're the other thing i was thinking of is like when people do why not if you put something small and light in the buy it now you know i know people do stickers and stuff like that yeah just so people get like you know their shipping's a little more discounted that way um so i'm always like looking for like little things like that late always Mm -hmm. I'm always looking. I'm looking the last week or two <laughs> for a little thing. And, and when I'm going through my stuff down there, because I was like organizing stuff, um, you know, what can go, what not, and what can go otherwise. But yeah, so hopefully that'll be soon. Hopefully I'll have video up this week. Well, yeah, this week. Um, yeah. That's what I got. And hopefully... <laughs> I'll sell something else on eBay. <laughs> I've just been because listing like I magnet. I have two. I've just it's been... like I started. It's like I wasn't. I I started like really like the the other day. I listed a lot, a lot mm-hmm. for me. You know, um, when I had time last week was uh, last weekend. I, I was kind of busy. I wasn't home a lot, and I sat down. And I had all these pictures, and I just listed a bunch of stuff. And that's when everything came to a grinding halt. I'm like, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I, I said, I just last night, I was just like, I'm just going to fill up this Ikea bag, like keep listing until I fill it up mm-hmm. and then we're good. And like, that's just what I've been doing. But yeah. Also, I did the sell similar with all of the. Um, yeah. Your stuff that you delisted. That's cool. That yeah. Helps. And actually one of the shoes, I uh, a pair of shoes I didn't sell. I got a <laughs> offer. But it was really low, and so I yeah. countered, mm-hmm. and they didn't accept. And I was like, "Well, I'm like, but it shows that it kind of like got traction on these it pair, does. this pair of shoes that it's in my old listing setup. That's how old it is. Like, yeah. So, yeah, it does. It Anyways, because I do that like anything, you know, every every day or two, I look and see what's over thirty days, and I, I'll and then sell similar. Um, when I I don't do it every. I try and do it every day, but I don't do it every day. So, but I always start getting watchers again and like all of a sudden something weird and old will sell and you're like, I forgot I had that. (laughs) So it does help. It does help. Mm -hmm. I need to start doing a little more. Anyways. Mm All righty. Well, you guys have a great weekend. You'll be seeing this on Flippin' Fantastic Friday. Friday. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Hope there's sales. I mean, it's a holiday weekend. So that means I won't have many sales, but all you Midwesterners will have sales all week. The grandma pops, they're <laughs> literally having one today on a Tuesday or like someone they know is having one. On a, like, yeah, it's crazy. Somebody, somebody on their last on one of their last videos commented something. This this sale is in the middle of the week. I go, I, I forget. I commented something like apparently they have garage sales all week over there. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. I gotta so. I gotta have Connor take me in the, the overlander up to South yeah, Dakota. To to <laughs> South Dakota for real. Camping out during the middle of the week so I can hit sales <laughs> up there too. <laughs> Jeez. For real. I mean, here, if you see one on a Friday, it's rare. I haven't oh, the only geez. ones I've seen on a Friday are like two hours away downstate and I'm not you know. I'm not I'm not a betting person that it's gonna be good stuff yeah. when I don't have any pictures up. I'm not driving two hours. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're out there, have fun at your grass shells today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the rest of us will go. I'm gonna go list. And uh Yeah, I better go. I better go get some stuff done. Yeah, me too. Plus I'm sweating. All right. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Bye. Bye bye.